Hello guys, Mr. Fluffy Pants here, and today guys, another video, and today guys, we're doing Friday 13th Part 5, A New Beginning, which is, you know, considered among a lot of people to, you know, not be liked, I guess, um, I wouldn't say hated, but, you know, just not really fond of, but, to be honest, like, I really, really enjoyed this movie, probably, you know, as much as Part 4, um, we'll get to the reason why, but, there is, you know, a pretty big plot twist in this movie, and, you know, that's one of the reasons a lot of people don't like this movie. Um, if you haven't seen it, it's only been, like, what, 34 years, uh, but, you know, unfortunately, I did know the twist going into the movie, so I kind of expected it, and I don't even really know how, you know, it was kind of a twist, because it was, like, literally right there, and they, you know, pretty much hinted around to it so much that I don't think anybody was really tricked by it, but, um, or at least if you know the twist and you, like, look back on the movie, I guess. But, I don't know, just some of the hints they were given, you know, about it. You know, what I'm talking about is, you know, uh, Roy, you know, dressing up as Jason and being the killer. I mean, just some of the stuff that, like, they hint to in the movies, like, almost too much of a hint. Like, and then, you know, it's just like, yeah, that's probably going to be it, but I don't know, like, if it's this is the real Jason or not. But, um, you know, this movie revolves around... I don't even really say revolve around because he's not really... He only speaks probably about 30 words the entire movie. And he doesn't really do much except for uh cut off Jason's... Or, I mean, I guess Roy Jason's hand, uh, you know, to save Reggie at the end. Um, But Tommy Jarvis, which, you know, is grown up now. But, you know, he has some psychological issues now, you know, from that brutal murder... The way he brutally murdered Jason at the end of part four. But... Um, you know, like, he's kind of messed up from that, and I guess his sister died or something. He might have killed his sister. I don't, rem I don't really know, but, um, uh, he, he comes to this new place called Pinehurst, which is, uh, just pretty much, like, for mentally unstable people, I guess. It's kind of like a, uh, rehabilitation place for them, you know, the reintroduce them into the real world or whatever. You know, Tommy Jarvis is bought here, and he's just kind of detached from everybody. He has, like, visions of Jason and all, which, pretty cool vision stuff and you know the uh kill and you know like the um I, I guess, like, some of the scares in this movie are actually pretty good. Like, there's, like, quite a bit of jump scares in this movie, which, you know, did get me quite a few times, but, um, and pretty much the, one of the kids, uh, I forgot his name, but he's, like, uh, you know, the fat one always eating chocolate. Like, he's really annoying, those, but I think I always heard that people say that's definitely the guy that was most deserving to die out of any of the Friday 13th movies. Yeah, I wouldn't really agree with that, but he is pretty annoying in this movie. There's another character that's also really annoying, but is absolutely hilarious. I mean, we'll get to that a little later, but, um, he is so annoying that one of the other guy or one of the other, uh, kids or teenagers at the, uh, you know, Pinehurst decides to literally brutally murder him with an axe, um, and, you know, it's just, like, really brutal and everything, uh, I don't know, it's like, ooh, but pretty much one of the paramedics that has to take away the dead body, he, you know, he starts reacting a little bit, and we know, we find out later, you know, that's Roy, and it turns out that that was his son that was brutally murdered, so he's just like, why don't I dress up as Jason, you know, go on a murder spree, which doesn't really make sense, you think he'd try to get revenge for the guy that actually killed his son, but no, just, you know, kill the entire camp and other random people, I guess, but, um, you know, I actually do like twists, though, I'm gonna be honest, like, I'm not really offended by it, like, you know, some people are, like, they think, you know, it's, like, sacrilegious or whatever, but I actually really do enjoy the twist, um, I also love Jason's, you know, mask with, like, the blue highlights, you know, I just love that look so much, but, um, <laughs> and every time this happens, like, it's happened in four and this one so far, but every time Jason walks through a door, it's so hilarious in the best way possible, I just love it so much. And whenever the uh, Reggie's driving the tractor, and, you know, Reggie's also one of my favorite characters in this movie, but he drives the tractor through the barn doors and, like, hits Jason. Like, I was just laughing, but, like, I, I love it so much. Um, and also, the kills in this movie are actually, like, pretty, really good. Like, uh, you know, some that stick out is whenever Jason takes, like, the uh, limb cutters or whatever and sticks into the girl's face. And, uh, you know, he puts the leather belt around the guy's head around the tree and then, like, uh, like, squeezes it, or, or turns it, where, it, you know, it crushes his head, that's a pretty good one, and then, you know, uh, Demon, uh, Reggie's older brother, he's a good character, too, uh, he, he didn't really have that much screen time, but, you know, I did enjoy him, uh, his kill with the pole through the chest, simple, but very effective, you know, there's some other kills that are cool, uh, I love Violet's kill, you know, she's, um, 
you know, dancing and everything. She gets, you know, brutally murdered or whatever. But, I mean, you know, the whole setting of Pinehurst in the woods and everything is just great. I love it. But, oh, yeah. And then the one other annoying character is the son of that one lady. Um, really annoying, especially, you know, right before he gets killed. You know, he gets straight up decapitated. But he is really annoying. But I think that was kind of the point. I don't know. And then, like, the mother is just kind of, I don't know why they even threw her into the story. But, you know, she is kind of hilarious, not going to lie. But, uh, you know, this movie actually does have a, quite a few intentional laughs and unintentional laughs. But those unintentional laughs are just so great. But, uh, you know, overall, though, you know, the final act in this movie is really good. And, you know, the whole thing where, you know, Roy Jason gets impaled and you see, like, his face... Or, you know, that's really Roy is great. But, you know, a lot of people don't like this movie because it's not really Jason. But I'm like, the very first movie of this franchise, the very original one, it didn't have Jason as a killer. And y'all didn't seem to complain too much about that. And, you know, I kind of do like, you know, the whole mystery of it all. Is Jason really back? Is he not? I mean, I do know in part six he becomes zombie Jason. But, well, we'll get into that in my next review. But, um... Overall, though, I really did enjoy this movie probably a lot more than most people. I probably give this movie about an 8.5. Uh, you know, I do think part four is a little bit stronger personally, but uh, this one overall, though, like I said, is just great. But anyway, guys, let me know down below what you guys think of part five. Um, I do know this is quite a divisive movie. Uh, not as much as like the later movies like Jason X or anything, but still quite divisive. But anyway, guys, check out my Twitter and Discord link in the description. Like and subscribe for more. Check out some new videos, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.